Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Joel Garcia, NH2 Global Ambassador. It's truly an honor and pleasure to host today's events. It's an exciting time here in NH2 Global as the company continues to launch brand new products, cutting edge, cutting edge products by the best formulators with the backed up by science. Today, we, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Benjamin Beckler from Minnesota. He's the formulator of the number one omega-3 product here in NH2 Global, and it's the number one omega product globally. Uh, he's recognized, he was recently recognized in 2015 as the top rising star doctor in, in the Minneapolis area. He's uh, uh, an assistant professor at the University of Minnesota Medical School. He's also a chief medical officer and chief formulator by one of the most highly regarded manufacturers and wellness company in the world. And he's also innovator of the most, of more than 100 wellness products. That's, that is absolutely incredible. So Dr. Ben, it's uh, truly a pleasure and an honor for me to host you here today. Uh, we've had the opportunity to spend some time over in Asia. Uh, you know, before you came in as a formulator here with NH2 Global, I was watching all your videos on, uh, on YouTube and I was highly impressed and someone that we can really learn from, not just uh, in life, but in, from the medical point of view. So thank you very much for joining us here today. Well, thank you so much, Joan. It truly is an honor and a privilege to be uh, on the line today with yourself and your team and with, uh, with NHT Global. Uh, one of the things we know in our, in our lives and, and for ourselves is that we want the best for those around us. And we want the best for their health, for their lifestyle. We, want, we really want an existence of meaning. And part of that meaningful existence is health and wellness. And so NHT Global in bringing forth world best, world class products, it truly is very fun for me and an honor to be, uh, to be with you and help bring forward and, and visit today about the new innovation, the NHC Global Botanical Hand Protector. So I'm, I'm very, very excited. Um, and thank you again for having me. So today we're focusing on really a common need that we all have, but a need that is addressed in really unhealthy ways, most often for many families and people around the world. So it's, it's not uncommon, as we look at the first slide here, for our daily health and beauty regimens to overlook the importance of caring for our hands. Our hands are involved in everything from helping us simply get up in the morning and put on our clothes to how we shake hands with others, embrace with function, um, as well as they're incorporated into our general overall appearance and look and beauty. And so it really is when it comes to taking care of our bodies, our hands are, are an essential point. As well, when we think of our hands, it's just our skin in general, those areas that are most often used, uh, most often needed, and most often potentially needed. And so while we're talking about the hands today and, and the application of this product, it can be used all over the body. Um, so when we think about to give our, our body the help that it needs, uh, NHT has a new, powerful, natural, ultra-moisturizing solution to support the healthy function of our, our, really our skin's function on the hand, while at the same time supporting really a luminous, rejuvenated, a uh, younger-looking appearance of the hands. And really what we're talking about is being healthy. And on the next slide, Joe, um, you'll find that we want to look for natural solutions so often um, when we reach for solutions in our lives, we have a question mark. Is it safe for us? Is it safe for our families? Is it safe for the newborn child, for example? Is it safe for someone who may have an autoimmune challenge or a sensitivity to chemicals? And so the botanical hand protector is a safe and natural ultra buttery hand cream that absorbs easily into the skin to really bring you that intensive hydration on your hands or anywhere on the body that needs attention. And we're going to go into the details of the ingredients. It's packed with exotic oils and natural botanicals. And when we think about where we're focusing, it really is the largest organ, and that is your skin. It is really a gateway to health, beauty, and supporting immunity. 
And when, what do I mean by that in supporting immunity? Realize that your body's skin is the first line of defense. And it's also our first line of appearance. And so it, it really is a, a, an interesting component of our existence. It has such a strong, strong functional component, but also plays a tremendous role just in how others perceive us. But our skin is under constant attack. There are facts that compromise the beauty of your skin and specifically of your hands. But before I get to those, I want you to think and, and look down at your own hands. Look at your hands and think what they accomplish in a day, what they touch, who they touch, what they're expected to accomplish. And now I want you to think, what happens if I even get just a little cut that becomes irritating? Or if you have a sore finger, or if you have a broken finger, think how your life is impacted. So really our hands and our skin um, provides a tremendous, tremendous function for us. But our skin is continually under attack. We have environmental factors. Um, we have chemical factors. We have those that come in from the outside, from uh, clothing that goes on our body. We have pollution. Um, and when it comes to thinking about even going to work, we have chemicals that we're exposed to often even in the workforce. And unfortunately, many, many skincare products have chemicals that are very unhealthy. Even the water that goes through our systems and our homes often can be contaminated. This slide right here is talking about toxins within skincare products. Unfortunately, the regulation is very loose around what can go in skincare products. An example here in the next several slides, phthalates and parabens. Phthalates, for example, it's a recognized toxic skincare ingredient class. Um, these help lotions absorb into the skin, but they've been classified as probable human carcinogens in, in certain research papers. And so why would we put these in topical ingredients? Again, hormone disruption, concern for unhealthy cellular replication, uh, and even impacts on, on, on reproduction. Parabens. Parabens are a preservative common in cosmetics. These include methyl, ethyl, or propyl paraben, very common. These disrupt hormonal pathways. They have estrogenic um, aspects for it, and we don't need more type hormonal components in our body. And if you are a woman who's at risk for breast cancer or otherwise or reproductive issues, you don't need these things putting on your body that could potentially stimulate certain receptors in your body. Other substances, DEA, TEA, MEA, DEA, sort of diethanolamine, triethanolamine, methylethanolamine. So these are long words that are scary. They're scary because these products have an association with unhealthy cellular replication in animals and, and cancer, basically. And so why are these in our healthcare products? Why are these in topical lotions? Again, regulation can be loose. They can, they can perform certain uh, functions when it comes to emulsification and blending. But this is old, old technology we don't want in. Other components, we have perfluorinated chemicals. We have artificial color additives. We, we have foaming agents like sodium lauryl sulfate or sodium lauryl sulfate. And so these chemicals all have different components, and we have to ask ourselves, why are they in our products? Other ones on this slide, mineral oil. Common, people talk about the mineral component, but really, this is a petro-derived ingredient most often, and it can be contaminated. Propylene glycol, another ingredient. It's often used to dissolve things and get them to blend together, but drying, irritating to the skin. And further research, again, in some instances, contact dermatitis, kidney, liver issues, so the list can go on and on. And so I want you to take a step back and think about, again, what you do on a daily basis and how just simply living has its own challenges in itself. An, act, an active lifestyle, for example, there's wear and tear on our body, environmental exposure, sunlight, for example, cold. Right now I'm in northern Minnesota with my family. And, uh, and we are up uh, about an hour from the Canadian border, and it is cold. The wind chill is cold. And we were outside sledding this morning, and goodness, my skin is literally um, needing, and we are all using the botanical hand protector. Why? Because the, the environment, the elements, other things that change our skin, hormonal changes with aging, especially women as they're going through menopause, and men on the endopause concept, but we all go through hormonal changes metabolic limitations and health challenges if you have a health challenge and there are certain health challenges that are specifically involving the skin remember that 
all of these things combined provide undesirable, undesirable effects on your skin. We have reduced elasticity and resilience, a dull, dry texture and appearance, wrinkles, blemish, blemishes, age spots, rashes, inflammation. And the last point is very important, decreased ability to ward off topical infection. I want to talk just a moment about your feet. Now, when we think about feet and we, we can think about exposure to viruses or warts, realize keeping your feet hydrated and well-nourished is a great way to, to ward off warts on the feet. Why? Because micro cracks, micro abrasions can open and make us vulnerable, let alone just in general um, a skin that is compromised as an opening for general bacterial and viral infections. So skin redness, inflammation, discoloration, loss of really that protective barrier, damage to DNA structure from UVA, UVB, accelerated skin aging, our, our skin has a delicate pH balance that can be altered. And really that last point I was talking about those micro openings for invasion. And so we see skin changes. And here on, on those pictures there, you're seeing difference between younger hands, older hands, hands that have been exposed uh, to, to some harsh elements. So what do we do? Well, what we do is we take really a, a three-step approach. One, we prevent moisture loss and keep the skin amply hydrated. We, two, we apply emollients with a high lipid profile to create a barrier, and that prevents damage that helps prevent pollutants from entering. Um, and three is provide the body nutrients that quench free radicals on the skin and internally. And really that internal, we want to think about health and really manifestation of beauty from the inside and outside. So it's inside out and outside and taking a, a dual approach. The natural solution that we have here, doing something different, and that is the introduction of the new NHT Botanical Hand Protector. I'm excited to have formulated this product and, and participate in bringing this forward here. It is, first off, a product that my family uses, and, and that's important. Why I have met people who make products but don't use them themselves or with their family. This is a product I use on my own son. My wife uses, I use this, my whole family. Why, and why wouldn't I want the best for myself and my family? And I want the best for all of you. In fact, I got very interested in topical formulation when my children were born. Uh, uh, my, uh, my boy and, and a girl, my, my daughter's past, she's in heaven now. Um, but... Um, but specifically, they, they drove me to say, I want natural care products. And I couldn't find those that I trusted. And I knew if I made it, I knew that the ingredients would be pure. I knew they would be safe on their skin. I knew I was taking all this energy and effort on what are the, what are the bottles they're using? What about the diapers? What about their sheets? What about the, the, the wash agents we're using? All these things. And so I got really interested in topicals. And now that I'm 40, I'm interested in topicals for other reasons, too. Um, we're all interested in trying to keep ourselves and our skin um, healthy and focusing on healthy aging. But the botanical hand protector really focuses on nourishing, rejuvenating the skin with deeply penetrating exotic oils and nutrient-rich botanicals. It is an intensive therapeutic hydrating product to focus on toning the elasticity and really with some youth code ingredients. It is powerfully packed with nutrients, uh, focusing on moisturizing, antioxidants, and really this concept of intensive, intensive moisturization and focusing on addressing the, the chemicals, the pollutants, the irritants that our skin is on a daily basis. Um, some we're gonna hit the ingredients individually, but just an overview here, Hoba oil, avocado, Moroccan argan oil, tea tree oil, bergamot, shea butter, green tea, avocado, the vitamin E, all of these things combine together to moisturize, antioxidants, nourish, and focus on beauty. Um, on the next slide, one of the things that we are going to be focusing on really is this concept of the renewal complex and the antioxidant protection. And we've grouped some of the ingredients. Realize there can be overlap. And then when we talk about natural ingredients, realize they have a multitude of natural substances within them. It's like having a football or basketball or volleyball team under that name with different functions and individual components, but bringing forward a win, bringing forward a very functional aspect. But this is a nice pictorial description of some of the ingredients. 
let's go to the next slide, Joe. So avocado oil. This one's rich in omega-3. It helps to augment skin lipids, intense hydration, penetration. It works deep with skin, the photoaging. And really, it supports the dermis when faced with oxidative stress as well. Realize that nourishing the skin, that top layer of the epidermis, um, really needs, we can do different things for it to help protect. And so we take a multifaceted approach. But avocado oil, high in them, rich in omega-3s. You guys know I love omega-3s. Next slide, Joe. Um, when we think about coconut, so coconut has a broad nutrient profile. If you guys have ever taken coconut or opened it up, drank the coconut milk, we know that looking at it, it has lots of inherent nu nutrients, including minerals. It has emollient properties to hydrate the skin, uh, focusing on that dryness. Um, and really contributes to a smooth, lustrous appearance of the skin. But it's broadly nourishing with minerals as well as other components. Aloe vera. Many of you probably have a product with aloe, aloe vera gel. It helps address irritation, reddening, flaking. Think about sunburn. You know, I mentioned uh, that I was outside earlier sledding, and we, we have something called wind chill here in northern Minnesota. But what's interesting, this product has been well-tested um, associated in the tropical regions. Um, it is a favorite. Um, the formula, when it comes to being out in sun and about, and if you got too much sun, this formula is just amazing. This is really designed to be a therapeutic, uh, intensive, uh, topical formulation, focusing on the hands, but then again, elbows, knees, feet, those areas, or a trouble spot area in your body. It can be used anywhere, but it really is a formula that's designed to go after those areas that are giving us trouble and those areas that have been exposed to either significant irritation or significant exposure or, say, an activity. But aloe vera helps to moisturize, support smoothness. This slide here, we're focusing on the jojoba oil. Again, these combine together to create a team. The jojoba is fast absorbing that protects and shields the skin epidermal water loss to keep skin plump and firming it, um, naturally softens the skin to make it silky and feel, um, as well as enhancing sheen and look. And it's, it's nice for any skin type. That's what's really nice about the jojoba oil. On the next slide, we're focusing on butter. Really, this softens and soothes as well. Really, this is that, you think about body butter. Well, shea butter is a very nice natural substance that really helps to, to promote healthy skin cell balance. That pH nature, again, a different way to address the same problem, and that is moisturization, uh, focusing on really penetration, focusing on the idea of multi-nutrient components, but really we want to provide this protective layer to lock in the good stuff, keep out the bad stuff, and allow our body to get up and after that really that balance um, formula that it needs to get after. The skin needs to stay balanced. And sometimes the skin just needs a rest. Argan oil, my goodness. On this slide, we're talking about one of the most uh, focused on oils in all of the world in recent time. Argan oil is highly recognized as a, a highly, highly skin beneficial um, oil with a multitude of properties. It is a, an ingredient that helps set the product apart, puts it on that higher tier. Um, but it, again, that moisturization, the hydration, high fatty acid content, elasticity, suppleness, again, focusing on this berry concept. Uh, and really what's nice is non-greasy and absorbs easily. We think often about when we add these together, what's the balance? And the balance needs to be appropriate so we don't wind up, oh my gosh, I need to feel like I have to take a shower. So there's a balance in putting these together. Tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is a very, very interesting oil in that it possesses broad uh, antimicrobial activity. What does antimicrobial mean? It means that it, it fights against foreign invaders, whether those be viruses or bacteria, and there's lots of research on, on that. And so this is one of the things that helps set the product apart in helping the body if it's dealing with a topical um, irritation from a foreign invader. It's excellent for soothing the skin, and it provides additional antioxidant support. But really, we want to keep, you know, our bodies balanced, both in nutrient, but then also uh, the concept of a pathogenic component or those things that aren't supposed living things that aren't supposed to be on our skin or try to set up shop. That can help. Bergamot oil, Italian bergamot. So very, very fun 
um, naturally helps to cleanse. Um, and we think about this when we think about the exposure of our skin to toxic pollutants. It really this even vibrant skin tone and we think about that reducing the appearance of fine lines. You know as a physician sometimes I, I feel uh, a little but apprehensive about talking about the concept too much of beauty or focusing on that because we know beauty truly comes from within. But the, the most important thing is when we see ourselves in a mirror, others see us, we want to make sure that our external, our, our external appearance is a reflection of how we feel and, and, and of that and bring out that internal luminous, our internal shine, you know, that, that, that song, you know, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. We sing as kids. And, and it's the idea that we want our external skin and appearance to be a reflection of the goodness within us. And so that's where I really think, you know, talking about the concept of beauty and, and really maximizing our, our natural appearance to, to help us appear as we feel. And so this product as well has anti-aging properties, focusing on those fine lines and wrinkles, the spots, and really it's, it's really a broad spectrum with a multifaceted team for not only function but also on that healthy skin aging slash beauty concepting and so uh, we're really excited about that. The bergamot oil as well again supporting epidermal uh, uh, aspects as it relates to UV exposure and that really leads us into the next the green tea. Green tea has natural polyphenols which, which really are wrinkle fighters and they, green tea has a multitude of components. We've done additional research, uh, I've, I've spent lots of time on the individual tea and green tea is an amazing substance and just teas in general but they have broad free radical fighting power and specifically against ultraviolet radiation, UVA, UVB and these are the radiation components from the sun that really accelerate aging and do damage to our skin. So it really helps to not only help address that, but as a natural toner um, and, and purifier, it has to calm redness and irritation. Of course, vitamin E, we find in many, many uh, uh, ingredients, we use natural vitamin E, and vitamin E is a natural complement to help nourish that upper layer of the skin, supporting elasticity and suppleness, and it's a natural antioxidant as it relates to oxidative stress. But we really want to focus on making sure that we're providing that protective layer, making sure that we're allowing the body to focus on what it needs to do to keep the skin healthy, replenish, hydrate, and then really allow our body to focus on taking over and getting our skin back to that balanced uh, existence. Key benefits of the product, what do you need to know? And, and the first thing that I want you to know that really uh, it should be an asterisk is that this product is different. This is a product that, that really provides intensive hydration. It's a product that is natural, is safe, and you can be confident in. And, and I can't stress that enough. I, I look at certain brands, certain companies which advertise natural, advertise chemical free, uh, advertise uh, uh, that they put it on their children, and, and you look at the ingredient pan, you're like, my goodness. I would never, never put this on, on myself or my children or someone I care about. And so I want you first and foremost to know that this product is a natural product formulated with care. You can go through the ingredient panel and, and you can be excited about it. Uh, it intensely hydrates and moisturizes. That concept of silky soft hands, smooth all day long, throwing vibrant, healthy looking hands and, and skin in general. It's packed with antioxidants. To, to help your body deal with harmful environmental pollutants. It's really a, a, a formulation that is free of the parabens, the phthalates, the MEA, the TEA, the DEA, the propylene glycol, the sulfates, the dyes, and it goes in easy. It leaves a nice balance between a protective layer that's still there as well as going in. Sometimes you put a lotion or a cream and you're like, did I put anything on? This product is completely different. You'll know and it will stay with you. And, and it will work in complement with your body and restore that natural component of balance for it. It's great for all skin types. And that's one thing that I want to also mention. There are certain agents within uh, uh, health topical products that, that we really have to avoid when it comes to certain skin types. And those with more, me more melanin or darker skin types need to be more cautious. So this is a product that's safe for all skin types can be used all over the body. It's focused on the hands because our hands get so much work, 
um, and have, have so much expected of them. So this is something that is a must-have for everyone's home. And that's, you know, in visiting uh, with Joe earlier and his team and, and leadership at NHT, it really has been really the concept of, wow, this is something that should be in every home across the world. It's something that we all need. It's a convenient size. It can go on a plane. It can go in a purse. Uh, it can go in the desk drawer. It can go in, in the side of the car uh, or, or in the glove compartment. It's exceptionally stable. Uh, the, the studies on the product and, and really the, the delivery system, it's, you can operate it, little things. You can operate it with one hand, the flip top cap in just a little bit, just a small pea size, a little bit goes a long way with the product. I think that's one thing that I would, would talk about in terms of use is that uh, you, can, you can always put more on. So start with a little, rub it in, see how it feels and build as you need more. It is very, very strong, very, very potent and delivers a great value in that regard as well. Um, next slide, Joe. Um, one of the things that I, I wanted to, to mention is that as we think about building uh, products, we want to make sure that they're easy to use, that they're broadly applicable. And when we think about this product, as I said, a small amount goes on, you can build it, start with the pea size, start with your hands, but then put it wherever you need on your body. Think about those elbows, those knees, the feet. Um, you know, I, it's kind of a funny story, but foot massage, right? Um, I had a friend and this formulary, and they're like, you know what? I never give a foot massage without, <laughs> without this formula. And it, it really is just intensely hydrating and, and, and really restoring. And so I just would encourage you to focus on that. When we think about skin health, we know that our skin cells and every cell in our body has fatty acids within them. And so we know that there's an omega-3 component to this product, but we have other omega-3s offered in NHT and this concept of nourishment. And so this slide here really points out that when we think about the cells in your body, I want you to know every single one has fatty acids within it. And the types of of fatty acids that are there make a difference on how those cells function, how resilient they are, and, and really their interaction with hormonal and immune components. And so on the next slide, we have a product that I formulated earlier, and, and Joe mentioned it, and that is the omega-3 essential fatty acids. And, and I often make the joke, uh, uh, or people who come in for consultations, and, and they'll talk on beauty. And, and it's one of the things and areas that I hit. And, and, and why I talk and specifically address that is many people do so many unhealthy things. And you'll see an area, this arrow here, focusing on skin. Well, omega-3s are rich in the skin. And so we nourish from the inside, we nourish from the outside. But I'll make the joke, before someone is going through a, 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 and spending thousands uh, on surgical or other procedures, injections and otherwise, make sure that they're using the omega-3 internally because it, it's a direct nourishment to focus on that resilient, uh, uh, elastic skin. And is you know it, one of the things that, that dermatologists and, 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 and top um, really skin and beauty uh, uh, specialists or physicians who focus on that really have that as a key and critical part of any nutritional program for maximizing the healthy looking aspect of the skin, our omega-3s let alone broad spectrum application of omega-3s uh, as it relates to their role in cardiovascular, neurologic, vision, brain. They are all over your body. If there's one thing that you can do to promote the health for your body, it is take daily omega-3s. We actually had them here uh, up at the cabin, and everyone had them, and uh, or here with uh, some other folks. But it really is something that needs to be a part to do something different where you're taking a stance to nourish your body and really focus on what am I doing and what am I using for science and the evidence, What's the, what are the scientific bodies from the FDA or Health Canada or the World Health Organization. Realize all those ones I just mentioned have daily recommendations for taking omega-3 high in EPA and DHA. And we have that in the omega-3 product at NHT meeting uh, the recommendation for the amount. We can even state the claim that it may reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease based on the concentration and the type of omega-3s. So we're really excited about that. This is a nice complement to that uh, as it relates to really focusing on the skin. The other thing, and on the next slide, Joe, one of the things I wanted to mention for the, and, and we can skip this one. This one gets a little technical, just focusing on as it relates to, to the, uh, 
triglycerides and fatty acids and different things, but realize that fatty acids in your body, that they're not made. Essential nutrients, those are called essential fatty acids, they're not made. And that's why we need to ingest the omega-3s. There's vegetable source and marine source. The ones that we have in the, the NHT omega-3 product that you take internally are marine source because they have the more bioactive ones that go to work right away for cardiovascular. In the topical, we've used the vegetable-based ones uh, for a multitude one of, of reasons, one being uh, as it relates to a sensory aspect. And, and stability of the oils and oxidation in the formula. But omega-3s are essential fatty acids. They're essential components of cell membranes, regulatory substances in terms of cell signaling. They're needed for proper function. They maintain normal physiology and cell function, and they're very, very beneficial for your heart and for your brain, as well as a whole other multitude of reasons I, I've had on that, on that pictorial. I've had myself three knee surgeries, there's lots of research associated with joints and inflammation, irritation, you may freeze, icosanoid pathways, I lecture and teach on. And so when there's science behind products, functional pathways, they make a difference when we get therapeutic amounts. This is a picture of the omega-3s, how much to take. Two daily soft gels are the base recommendation. I personally take four per day. If you're dealing with, say, for example, triglyceride levels, if you're feeling, uh, uh, dealing with uh, intense irritation in joints or otherwise, or skin, inflammatory components, you may want to increase that to three, uh, excuse me, uh, three servings, which would be six soft shells per day, mental health aspect as well. Uh, we find DHA, high concentration in the brain. Um, and then for children, uh, it's one soft shell daily. And we want to make sure that they chew it. Uh, and again, of course, if the child doesn't have teeth or otherwise, uh, don't give it to them. Uh, you can actually uh, puncture the soft shell and squeeze the oil in their, in their mouth. That's what we did with my children. Um, but I want you to share the omega-3 with your doctor. They will be happy that you're taking it. They'll be excited. They may even ask where they could get some. And you want you to share the, the botanical hand protector with them as well. Show them the formula. Say, look, geez, there's no parabens in here. Geez, no DEA. There's no TEA. This formula, this combination right here really is a powerful, healthy skin promoting program that you can be confident in, that you'll see differences in, is natural. Uh, and safe. You know, the omega-3, uh, we just released a while back, testing for over 500 different components, pesticides, herbicides, heavy metals, and share that with the NHT family. So, you know, it's important that we don't take for granted the safety aspect. Safety needs to be the first and foremost aspect of every product introduced around the world for every company. And NHT takes that so seriously. I take that personally as my responsibility and formulation and helping bring uh, to the world innovations that help people be healthy, including myself and my own family. So remember, every cell has fatty acids within them, and, and we need to do something different if we expect to get different results. And so this combination really is a must-have for everyone's home, um, the internal nourishment with the omega-3s, the, the topical nourishment with the botanical hand protector. So next slide, Joe. I, I think overall, when we look at NHT, when we think of the different products that are off, it's a wonderful complement and a wonderful way to build a natural health solution based on your health goals. And so working with your personal health care provider, working with, with individuals who you know are very knowledgeable on the products, they can help direct and put together different aspects as it relates to helping you have a natural health program that complements um, your, your prescription, say, for example. And remember, the, the equation for health isn't an or, it's an and. It's everything working together in combination, the best of traditional and complementary medicine, the best of Easternized medicine and Westernized medicine. It's, we want the best. We want the safest. And NHC brings forward a, a wonderful combination of different products that can help you uh, achieve uh, health in your lives for yourself and those you love. And there's a wonderful synergy in the NHC product line. Uh, next slide, Joe. Um, when we think about NHT and the botanical hand protector, I want you to remember this as the asterisk, and that is intensive therapy hydration, and that is 
to focus on those areas in your body, specifically your hands or other areas that you say, you know what, I really want to focus on, on bringing this back to how my skin used to be. This is an area I need to focus on. I use the botanical hand protector all over my body. I use it on my hands, my knees, my elbows, my feet, my face. It, it is something for me that I know and I can trust, um, but specifically designed for the hands, focusing on the ruggedness of, of what our hands that we ask them to, to do and to achieve on a daily basis. Uh, literally, I, I, a personal story here, I use this formula to really help my hands post uh, a, a, uh, an injury I had from a hockey as it relates, and it's going to be, sound kind of funny, but I was trying on some new skates, and I went through multiple, multiple skates. I tried on skates for two hours, and, uh, and I wound up getting some blisters because of, of tying, the, uh, tying the laces and pulling them tight so many times. And so I used this formula exclusively in, in helping my hands recover. I had multiple blisters uh, because I was pulling those skates so tight. And, uh, and that's just a common example. I'm sure you have one in your own life of where your hands have been exposed to, to either an intense activity or just the, the rigors of daily living. So, and living here in Minnesota where I live, every single person has a need for a moisturizer and everyone around the world, whether you live in sun or whether you live in cold or somewhere in between, we all have a need for daily moisturization and, and really a formula that's safe and natural that we can trust. And that's right here in the palm of our hands with the NAT Botanical Hand Protector. So on that note, Joe, uh, I'm open for questions. It's always an honor and privilege to be able to spend time with you and just my highest compliments to yourself and your team and all you do to help share wellness uh, with others around the world. Uh, yeah. And just uh, my hat's off to you. You're, you're really awesome then. Dr. Ben, incredible. Uh, you know, there's so many text messages I've had. Uh, the computer is just uh, bleeping like you wouldn't believe here with messages. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they, uh, everybody has a crush on you here in NH2 Global. Incredible information. And by the way, I knew you were Canadian, you know, with that hockey f reference. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can't live, you know, we're, we're neighbors, you know, I mean, literally, you know, so it's, uh, it's the first country I ever visited was Canada. So, uh, you know, second citizen. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You know, um, uh, one of the first questions I have here, and I just got a couple, um, I'll just streamline it here, is number one, you mentioned that you can use this product, even though it's, it's formulated specifically for the hands, uh, but you use it as a body lotion, correct? Right, right. And, and that's, you know, I use this formula all over. It, it's designed for the hands, but, and that's a common question that I get. Can I only use it on my hands? And the answer is, no, you can use it all over the body. And, and so some, the one uh, side of it, really like that body butter concept thing, it is a little heavier. And, and so sometimes people like a little lighter lotion. And so it's really more of a personal preference. But this, again, that's where getting to the amount that's applied in directions of use um, is is part of the application and the use of the product and learning how much people like to put on and wear. But it is uh, a formula that can be used all over the body, uh, absolutely. But including, uh, the, including the face, including the face, including the face. Right, and so you would take uh, literally a dime size, correct? Right, I would. You know, I would. You know, I start with a P. You know, a P size amount. And that, you know, it depends upon where I'm, I'm focusing on, you know. And so for my hands, you know, again, uh, that, that one you start with, yeah, dime size, half of, I think half of a dime would be, uh, would be plenty. And, uh, and then you can build up from there. You know, the, it's kind of funny. The official way of applying lotion and face to your hands is actually to apply them, um, you know, to the side, not, not to the palm side, um, but to the top side of your hand. And then you rub the top sides together. And if you like, you can rub them all over together. And so I, I learned along the years that there's this official way of applying <laughs> of topical aspects to the hands. Um, right. but, but, yes, it's, it's wonderful. And uh, literally uh, a small amount goes along. Yeah. Well, I know you're a rock star in Minnesota, especially with local TV. And uh, the, a lot of the clips that I've um, watched, 
is is really on your philosophy of health. Uh, you know, you uh, have have an oath in helping people with their health as a doctor, as a medical doctor. And one of my secrets to success, Dr. Ben, is is duplicate what works for other people, right? So um, I know you have an extreme philosophy on health because what you see is, in most respects, correct, people that are sick, people that are unhealthy. Um, so the preventative care is, is, I believe, much more important. I'm sure you have that kind of a philosophy. But what is your philosophy in, in moving forward and helping our NHD distributors and our customers um, with, with their health? So they don't end up seeing someone like you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well, you're you're absolutely correct, Joe, in that what we are doing today is not working. And that's the first thing to, to help people realize and understand, is that as we look around, we can't be satisfied with the status quo in terms of our health outcomes. And so once people realize that, then the next step is having them agree to do something different. And so my philosophy really builds around that concept of do. Do something. Do something different. Activate. Let's take action. And that action doesn't have to be something wild or huge. You don't have to go and say, I'm going to run a marathon. Actually, there are many studies running marathons may be very unhealthy. We won't get into that research. but it's an, It can be extreme, right? But But the idea of taking action and doing something and realizing that one step forward, the way that we build for a better tomorrow is by literally having a better right now in the next, in the next moment to build some momentum. And so it's by doing something different. And that's where my philosophy starts. Doing something different then comes and looks at health and wellness really as, as putting together a puzzle. There are multiple pieces in the puzzle of health. Except we, we know what the vast majority of these puzzle pieces are. And so as we're trying to put our own puzzle together, there are different pieces. There are pieces associated with nutrition, topical aspects, relationships, spiritual, financial, preventive, making sure we're getting our traditional going in for our, our traditional checkups, making sure that our relationships are healthy. And so it's really focusing on all of those aspects. And that's not all of them, of course. But when we think about doing something, we can't simply just focus on, say, for example, someone said, you know what, I am just only going to focus on, let's say, being active or exercising, but then completely neglect making sure their relationships are healthy, that what they're eating and supplementing with is healthy, that what they're putting on their body is healthy. That would be an example of an approach that is unbalanced. And so it's about making incremental change in multiple areas. And incremental meaning small. That let's make choices, daily choices to do something. And when we, for example, when we, we think about something we can accomplish or take action on, we mentioned two of those here today, and there's a whole multitude of products in the NHT line that can help people take action on the health and wellness side when it comes to both topicals and ingestibles. But specifically here today, taking action on making sure I'm getting enough omega-3s taking in uh, the, that EPA and DHA that's recognized by science and medicine for as a critical essential nutrient. Well, let's do that. Let's take at a minimum two soft gels a day. Let's make sure when I reach for a, a hydrating and, and nourishing uh, cream to put on my hands, let's make sure first that it's safe, secondly that it works, and let's make sure it's also affordable and value-driven. And, and, and we can do all those things with what we talked about today without major disruptions in your life. And so that's the other part that I, I, I often mention to people. So number one, let's do something different. Let's do it in multiple areas with incremental change. And you don't have to do them all at once. Meaning, hey, sometimes I'll literally write a prescription to somebody for making their bed. I'm like, do you make your bed every day? I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm writing your prescription daily bed makeup. Like, I want you to just to do something different in a positive fashion and, and in a sense of taking control of your own life. And it doesn't have to be everything all at once, but please do something. And then we do that over time in multiple areas. And so it, 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 it's something when it comes to a philosophy for me is really 
doing something different. An interesting side note to this is when we think about insurance rates, right? So the whole insurance industry is based on averages. We know based on your age, based on your family history, uh, based on, 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 on where you live, and based on some more demographic information, we can kind of tell what you're going to get, when you're going to die, you know, on average, what's going to happen to you, and that establishes your insurance rates. And so there's a lot of statistical data out there. When you look at it and you start to plug in yourself in some of these different areas, like, I don't want that to be me. And so the question is, what am I doing different to beat the average? And we can take control of that. And, and so it's these small increments, changes, Joe. And, but we've got to make it simple. We've got to make it easy for people. And we have to do it in affordable ways. Um, so that's part of what's exciting uh, about being involved in healthcare and helping people take control of their health uh, and, and doing it. And um, it's, it's just an honor and a privilege to, to help partner uh, with people to do that. Wow. You know, simple disciplines repeated over time. I love it. Right. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Well, I went in to see my family doctor the other day to do my yearly physicals, and my uh, he was astounded by my blood tests, so that was great news. But one of the things that uh, we had a discussion regarding uh, one of the things that he truly dislikes, it really bothers him, where his patients are coming in and uh, they see something on the internet that, ha uh, that is totally contradictory to um, what he believes in in medicine. So how do you deal with that? What would, what would be your message? Because we're in an information age. Um, you know, right. People are reading all kinds of things on internet. And I know it probably um, gets you frustrated at times. So uh, what would your message be regarding that? So I was asked uh, to do a couple different segments on television related to some some common themes or trends and and you're absolutely right some of these things that come up you have to take a step back and be like wow this really seems first off maybe not to be such a good idea just in general but then it builds and there gets uh, some enthusiasm around a concept or an idea and pretty soon it's as if it's as if a, a, a piece of information someone read on the internet holds as much validity as something that's really gone through the rigors of science and otherwise and testing. And so one of the things that I, I really work with my patients uh, and with the people around me in formulation, because we get a lot of, of, of um, new ingredients we're evaluating all the time for formulas, and really is saying, first and foremost, just because you saw it on television, just because you saw it on the Internet, doesn't mean that it is true. And, 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 and really reminding people of some of the basics. Uh, number two is that everything, if we look hard enough at it from a, a unique angle, just about everything we could find harm. A great example is water. And so, boy... Um, Water uh, can be life-saving, and it can also, uh, you can drown with it. And so it, sometimes it really is focusing on the angle from which uh, we position ourselves in looking at a topic. So it's number one, recognizing that, first and foremost, the, the old ad is just because it's in, in bright lights doesn't mean that it's true. And secondly, is the concept of perspective. What's the angle that's being looked at? And really partnering then, and, and the most important part for me, and, and I think for many people when we look at common trends in health care and wellness, is this, next, is this next question. And that is, why is this important to you? What is your interest? Help me understand how this is emotionally, culturally, uh, personally important to you. Because if I can understand that and what's driving their interest, I can help have a, a conversation with them saying, I understand why you're excited about this. It might help a family member who you love who's ill. That's, that's really courageous of you. That, that, you know, that shows courage and heart. Now let's make sure we're, we're channeling your passion in a, in a positive way and in a helpful way and also not a harmful way. And so I, I think having that conversation of ignition as well is important. And you're recognizing their effort. The biggest thing that, that can be a problem 
is when we as healthcare professionals or as leaders in health and wellness discount the passion of another individual because that can lead them to confrontation and actually retreat from where we need to go and, and that is towards truth and towards really looking at the science behind products and safety and efficacy. So um, that's a little bit of my, probably a little more than you wanted in terms of my answer, but, but it really is understanding what's driving them, recognizing it's coming from a, a good in, intended place by them, and then taking a step back saying, again, just because it's in lights doesn't mean it's true. Uh, let's look at the perspective and the angle behind of what's being talked about. And then now let's see what what exists as it relates to um, of of actual data and science behind it. So that's a little bit of my approach. Well, and I, you know I really appreciate your time you spent here today. I've got one last question. Um, I have a, recently a, a friend of mine in high school, a high school friend, died at the age of fifty from a massive heart attack and left. His wife, unfortunately, died a year before then. Um, so he had little, oh, two little girls that have no parents now. And he was basically wow. the caregiver. So I know uh, uh, heart disease is the number one killer in most parts of the world. Um, and I want to make sure that the people are watching here today and, and watching it in the future, how important, especially as you get older, how important it is to take care of their heart, and you've got, you've formulated a, an incredible product that I've been taking, <laughs> for at least uh, since we've launched it here, and I've seen significant differences in my blood pressure, uh, and in other parts of my body. So, can you just um, eloquently, in your own way, tell people how important it is to not uh, take for granted your heart, uh, even though you may not have a signs right now, uh, how important that is, and we'll, we'll end the call that way. You bet. You know, I, I think we all have been touched in our own lives by individuals with heart challenges. In my own family, my own father, which really fueled a passion in myself well over a decade ago where he had some significant health challenges, um, and that really led to a passion in natural health for for the heart, and this was uh, you know, actually pushing almost 20 years ago, and and so we've all been touched, and as you mentioned, it's a leading cause of morbidity and mortality, and and that just means a lot of sadness. And you're right, people do take it for granted. We know in general, and I I think the the thing that that helps people sometimes turn the light bulb on is when I say you have to do some things that are like a savings account for your heart, a retirement account for your heart. You're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. I don't necessarily see the benefit today, but down the road. Many times there's the, the benefit is that confidence, uh, that sense of taking control of your life, uh, that sense that I have a plan. Um, we know uh, with, for example, the omega-3s for the heart, this is a, a very effective yet easy intervention that people can take on the daily omega-3 ingestion that has thousands of research papers behind it. The question on omega-3s in the debate isn't, is it good for the heart? It's how good are omega-3s for the heart? But we need to really take that concept of daily activity, not smoking, a healthy weight, a healthy diet, rich in especially those green leafy vegetables, and then focusing on key essential nutrients like the omega-3s. And, and when we do all those things, I'm sure I mentioned not smoking, but if I didn't, I want to make sure that I go back and say that again. <laughs> I was going to bring that up. I was going to bring that up. <laughs> but that is, that is the single biggest thing that you can do for your health in general. But, but really focusing on building that concept of the savings account for your heart, that insurance policy, so to speak. What are, what are you doing? What are the choices? What's exciting is when we look at cardiovascular health, we know that by focusing on a healthy blood pressure, healthy lipid levels, a healthy weight, those other things I mentioned of not smoking and exercising, and key, key nutrients, and then that diet rich in uh, fruits and vegetables, we know that we can get up and go after the vast majority 
of cardiovascular disease. And again, nutritional products and none of the NHC products treat, reduce uh, disease. They are nutritional products that support the body's own inherent mechanisms to promote its own health, to help the body come into balance, to, to focus on harnessing its own potential. That's what proper nutrition, essential nutrients, specialized phytonutrients can help your body do, and, and, and topical components as well when it comes to skin and otherwise. But for the heart, the use of, for example, the daily omega-3, and sometimes I, I, I want to just scream from the mountaintop, make sure that you're getting, getting in your, your activity. Make sure you're not smoking. Make sure you're focusing on shopping on the outside of the aisles. And we can't simply just take omega-3s and discount everything else. So that's the last message I want someone to take. But if you're not getting those omega-3s in and realizing that the, the, the American Heart Association recommends that anyone with cardiovascular risk factors takes in, you know, at least 1,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA on a daily basis and that Health Canada and the World Health Organization has recommendations, this is a simple, easy step that we can take. The omega-3s, benefit the heart in multiple ways in the cardiovascular system. First off, help promoting healthy triglyceride levels, healthy endothelium or the lining of blood vessels, health pressure within blood vessels, focusing on the normal beating of the heart, the rhythm of the heart, and then that general inflammatory aspect of the body, which plays a key role. So it really is a, a multifaceted uh, nutrient class that, that really focuses on cardiac health. And so if there's one thing you do for your heart today, make sure uh, that it's, you're taking your omega-3s in addition to those healthy lifestyle choices. Um, it, it provides both in, uh, immediate benefit, but then that long-term savings account concept that, that you're placing a deposit in there for long-term returns. So the omega-3, just two soft gels per day, meets the recommendation uh, of the scientific bodies and, and meets the requirements for the FDA claim of reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease. Um, so it's, it's a powerful product. So, so make a choice. Do something today. What are you doing today uh, to impact your health? And uh, that's my challenge for people. And, uh, and what's neat about it is when we feel better, when we have more energy, when we're not deal, dealing or focusing so much on our own health challenges, we start to focus on others in the world around us. And that's what we're called to do. We're really not called to focus on ourselves and to be self-absorbed. And it's our greatest joy, and when I work with patients, their greatest, it's so obvious, those who are outward fo focused, or those who are, who are outward looking and, and their energies are directed outward are so much happier in life and finding meaning and otherwise than, than those who are focused so inward. And that just makes sense. We know that from growing up as kids. So um, listen to what... Uh, but the grandma and grandpa taught us, right? So focus hey. on others, bring forth goodness. Hey, um, Dr. Ben, you're so great that I've got Canadians on here texting me. Even though we get free health care in Canada, can we move to Minnesota so we can have... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not willing to pay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very well, much for your time. time. Too kind. Thanks very much for your time today. Um, you know, this has been a wealth of information. Uh, I know uh, the orders are going through uh, from people are watching today with this hand, hand and body lotion. I, you know, uh, it is for the hand, but you can use it for the whole body. Uh, and watch again; its results speak for themselves. You've got the information. Right. Results will speak for themselves, along with the omega three, which was a bonus here today. And again, appreciate your time and your forthright in answering the questions. Have a great day, everybody. God bless. And uh, make sure you get everybody on this product it's, it, and both products here because your, their lives will be improved 100%. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone.